All right, guys. To oh, trash guy. Never mind. We're we're gonna wait a minute because Stark's gonna have an episode. <laughs> yep, they're coming to get you. You're so active. It's okay. You wanna come say hi? No. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a pretty exciting video. Well, I think it's exciting. Um, I'm going to be doing a review and demo of the new Vizzy Art palette. So it's the Petite Pro and the Warm Mattes palette. Um, I'm pretty excited about these. I have had them for almost two weeks now. I did order them off Muse Beauty Pro when they first launched and it took them... They actually shipped early and it took them probably a couple days to get to me. So I've, I've had them probably for about a week and a half. Maybe two weeks. I don't remember. Um, but anyways. Um, let's talk. Let's do some swatches. And talk about them. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is actually the Petite Pro. It comes in, you know, a little package like this. Beautiful for travel. It comes with a little mirror. I haven't taken my plastic stuff off of it yet. And guys... I can already tell you that these shadows are worth the money. They're worth the investment. Um, I have, I do own the neutral mattes and I own one of the Fury palettes before I bought these. Um, so I've had those for quite a while and I absolutely love them. Those are the ones that I take traveling with me most of the time. Um, this one will probably be my new travel buddy. It is about the size, literally, of a credit card. It is quite small, but I don't feel like you get gypped on quality or quantity. You do get, let me see, where's the package? You get um, almost six grams of product in here, which, let's be honest, is a pretty decent amount. And I'm the kind of person, I wear eyeshadow, but I don't wear eyeshadow every day. Usually I am very lazy and I just put bronzer through the crease and I'm done. Um, so I have never hit pan on any eyeshadow that I've ever owned. So for me, something like this that comes in a small, compact travel thing is just beautiful. I love it. A little bit of information about the brand Vizzy Art. Vizzy Art is cruelty free and they don't have parabens in their products. I do not know if they're vegan. I haven't found anything claiming, I haven't found anything online for them claiming that they are vegan. Um, but they, they do state that they are cruelty free. Um, this palette is about, is half the product that you get in a Theory palette. And so it's like half the size and it's a third of the size of one of their big 12 pan palettes. Um, it's not a third of the price. It's a little bit more than third of the price. Um, because I mean, this one's 80 and this one is 30. Um, this is currently out of stock on Muse Beauty Pro and Sephora, um, but you can do a pre-order right now on Muse Beauty Pro, and I believe they're going to be shipping out February 1st. Um, so if you are interested in this, I would recommend hopping onto Muse Beauty Pro and pre-ordering. Um, they have wonderful customer service. I have nothing but rave reviews. I've ordered from them for a while now. and. Then one last thing to talk about this, um, these three shadows right here, um, when we get to swatching you will see, um, these three are really metallic. They're really beautiful, they spread out really nicely. However, this one right here is more like the shimmers that are in their big 12 pan palettes, whereas they're not as metallic, it's not as boom in your face. Um, it's what I have on my inner corner right now. There is a slight shimmer and there's a little fine micro, micro glitter in it. It's beautiful, but it's not something that is completely light catching. And if you're a big fan of metallics, you are going to be quite unhappy with this shade. Um, the only downfall that I see is that with this packaging, the pans are in there pretty securely. And but they are, they're not, they don't sit in there straight. They're like wobbled and warped looking. And that's just something really minor. Um, and it doesn't really bother me. Let's see if you guys can see it. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but I wish they, they sat in there a little bit nicer. 
Um, but like I said, it's something minor and it's it's nothing to really complain about because they're not they're not going anywhere. Um, but yeah. So let's talk about the warm mattes for a second. Um, this is currently available both on Sephora and Muse Beauty Pro right now. You can order it. Um, I know there was a big hogwash about it being available on Sephora earlier and Muse Beauty Pro. Um, people paid for shipping and they haven't gotten their order from Muse Beauty Pro, but when they're VW Rouge or whatever, they get free two-day shipping or whatever. It's neither here or there. Things ship in a little bit earlier. Things happen. It's not necessarily the brand's fault. They want to get their product to you as fast as they can. So, it's whatever. Um, both formulas are the same across the board. This is the same formula as the other matte palettes. This is the same formula as the other palettes, the shimmers, everything. Um, this one, like I said, is 80. Um, it comes with 12 shades. And if you break that down, I know 80 is a lot to spend on one palette at one time. Um, but if you break it down, the quality of the shadows, it's about a little over $6 and I think like six sixty-seven or something like that per shadow, which is on par with brands such as MAC and Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek has really beautiful shadows, um, but I definitely think that these blend slightly better than the Makeup Geek, and they're far superior to MAC. So while as you can slowly collect shadows from those two brands and spend a little here, or spend a little there, um, you're basically spending the same amount of money for the product. And I, and I just far beyond prefer these. They're just beautiful. Um, they're super pigmented and in this, and in these pans you get 24 grams of product, which is, which is like a ton. Like honestly, I will probably never hit pan on this. Um, with as many, even though I use my, my Viseart palettes almost every single day, pretty much over any other palette that I own, and I don't own very many palettes because I simply do, eyeshadows aren't my thing. I'm a face product girl. I love concealer and I love foundation, but I'm very passionate about these. Let's get to swatching. I'm going to start off with this one first. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Um, and I'm going to just be running my fingers. Um, you guys let me know down below, um, what do you prefer? Do you prefer brush swatches or do you prefer the hand swatches or what do you prefer? Um, the white, the white shade, I don't know if it will show up on my very pale skin. Um, but you can kind of see it there. So that is the first row. A little swatched out of order. Um, That's the first row. The white is in underneath the brown, but I'm not sure if you can see it. But they're very pretty. They don't apply patchy. They're not powdery. Um, there's not a whole lot of kick up in the pan, and I find that I don't get a ton of fallout when I'm using them. Um, even on the more shimmery, even with the micro glitter one, there's hardly any fallout for me. So let's do the micro glitter one. We'll start with that one and you'll be able to see what I mean it's a very very soft shimmer um, it's not metallic whatsoever it feels a little gritty um, but these other ones are quite smooth and then there's the gold The copper and as you guys can see so this one is the the one with a little bit of micro glitter and then there's the copper or like the goldish one there's the copper one and like the more reddish one um, in this lighting you can't really just see how metallic they are they are just so beautiful and I will say that the ultra metallic ones the ones that I was saying was ultra metallic aren't showing up as metallic on my camera because of my lighting. Um, they're showing up a little bit duller, um, but if I were able to have natural sunlight today, which I was hoping for, but I did not receive, 
they would be really metallic. I have filmed this video once already, I didn't like the way it turned out, so I'm refilming it today. And when I originally filmed it, I had tons of sunlight and the colors were just, they were just glistening and they were beautiful. Um, but like I said, today is really overcast and the lighting is not perfect, but it's the only day I had to film. And I will be getting a light on Monday. Okay, so let's get started on this one. And these are a little bit easier to get my fingers in. Um, initially I was kind of concerned about this yellow shade right here um, because I do have a warm complexion. I'm, I'm actually quite yellow tone and I was worried, worried that it would wash me out um, and just make me look jaundiced around my eyes but it actually worked out really nicely. It didn't look bad especially as a blending color um, and that that's a burn, so that, don't mind that. So here's the first shade, and you can see that one a little bit better. Um, it's slightly more yellow than my skin, like a shade darker. And that yellow is pretty like a mustardy yellow and I, I quite like it. So that's the first row. A little bit of the second row. It's quite hard. I have quite long nails. I've actually been, despite this one being broken, I've kind of liked it being broken. It's been easier to take out contacts and do some makeup things with it being broken, but still it drives me crazy. Um, and this is going to be the second row. They're just so smooth, and they apply so smooth. Um, and even if you pick up too much on your brush, they do travel pretty far on the lid, and they just, but they also blend out so easily that if you do happen to get too much, it's really not that, look at that orange. Oh, that is, that is my kind of color for my eyes, for the blue eyes. I just, I love it. All right, and now let's get on to the last roll, last row. And like I said, I have used all these colors um, in some kind of eye look over the past week or so, um, and I've I've had no issue with any of them. Oh, that one's so nice. This last row has to be probably my favorite row. Just, just because of the colors, um, but, so that is the warm palette fully swatched on my hand and it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Alright guys, so if you would like to see how I achieve this look on my eyes, just hang tight and we will go to the demo. Let's go ahead and get into the demo. I already laid down my face makeup, um, my eyebrows are done. I do not have any... Well, get comfortable. Yeah, get comfortable. Good boy. <laughs> I didn't, I haven't laid down any eye primer. Um, the only thing that's on my eyes right now is concealer. Um, like I normally do, um, but I think I'm going to start with the Petite Pro first, and I'm going to take this white shade here, I'm going to pick it up, this is just an e.l.f., um, I think it's just a shader brush, you know, like one of the $1 ones, pretty cheap, and I'm just going to put it, I need to put my mirror up, so I'm sorry if there's a reflection down on my neck, um, but I need to be able to see, I'm going to put it right here on my eyebrow. as kind of like my start of my highlight shade and then I'm just going to blend it in and bring it down all over my eye. Um, NYX Crease Blending Brush, the 16. Um, these are really awesome for getting a blended out crease. I really like it and I'm going to go into the Warm Mattes palette and I'm going to take a combination of these two shades. I have used, um, I've had this for about two weeks, and I have used every color in the palette. And like, I barely put my brush in, and look, there's like so much pigment. 
there is just so much pigment. And I'm just gonna blend out my crease and then every once in a while I'll pick up maybe this shade to blend on top and they just blend out so easily. <laughs> They're just so nice. I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss 06 brush and it's like a 217 from MAC. And I think I want to dip into, I'm going to mix colors again, but I think I'm going to do the, the orange here and this brown that's next to this red. And then I am going to tap it off. Because like I said, they're very pigmented. And then I'm just going to put this on. Trying to think of, I haven't decided what kind of eye look I want to do today. So I just want to blend this up into the crease a little bit so when you get like mainly the color deposited right here you can blend it slightly into the crease going upwards to fan it out and it's okay if the lid gets a bit messy we're not being too precise or anything so I am going to take my elf you know the one dollar shader brush again and I think I'm actually going to go, I want to use one of the shimmers, and I'm not sure whether, which one of these I want to use. I think I want to use, I'm going to use this one. This one. And I think I'm actually going to spray my brush um, with some, oh, it would show up so much better if my lighting was better, but... I'm going to spray my brush just a little bit. You can use water, you can use MAC Fix Plus, you can use whatever you have. This shade isn't as shimmery as some of the other ones. It is very muted and it's very soft, which is a lot like their 12 pan palette um, shades. A lot of people are always disappointed when they get those, thinking that they're going to be super metallic, and um, but in reality they're really, really soft. And now I think I'm going to take a little bit of the the red here, and I'm going to run that in the inner corner mixed with a little bit of the darkest brown right here. And then I'm just going to... Oh, and this is my Wayne Goss 04 brush. It's the blending brush. And then I'm just going to run it... I'm going to run it slightly into the crease, but mainly in that outer corner to deepen it up. And look, I mean, like, I just laid the product down and it's pretty much blended. It is just so nice. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of one of the crease colors that we used earlier. And just, you know, slightly blend it out a little bit more. And I do have slightly hooded eyes, so sometimes it's hard to get... I sometimes find it really hard to do my eyes. And that's it for the eyes. I will be right back to put a lip on for you guys. And that is what... The finished look looks like. Um, the lip that I'm going to use today is um, the Rimmel Easton Snob, which is my everyday. And I actually um, got a sample of one of the Smashbox liquid lips, which I already know that I love this formula. I actually got this in a Sephora Play one month. Um, it didn't come with a name, um, but I, I think it's either driver's seat or in demand. 
I can't quite tell from online pictures which one this is, but I'm, I want to say it's driver's seat, um, but I'm not 100% sure because in-demand and driver's seat look pretty much the same to me. So I am going to start off with my lip liner, and this one's almost gone. <laughs> I've used it so much, and I do have a new one coming in. So I'm just going to line my lips. I'm sorry for the reflection again. Such a pretty pink color. And it and it's like a my lips but better color. Um and this one I just thought it looks nice with the warm um because it's kind of like a warm peachy color, so I just thought it would look really nice with the eye look today. Um I didn't put on any false lashes. Um it's just the real mascara by Benefit. I think I'm going to go in with White Russian from Buxom. It's kind of a pickier color, but I like the way it tingles. So. I don't, I don't plan on going outside today. It's an inside day doing housework, so. Alright guys, this is the finished look using the Visi Art um, Pro Petite and Warm Matte palette. I hope you guys found this video um, useful and somewhat entertaining. Um, thank you for joining me and until next time, bye.